Once you've got your new bay completely set up and you have taken the winter barrier out of its bag, find the two clips on either end of the winter barrier. Where the bug netting meets the rain protection, you'll find a loop. Clip the end of the winter barrier to that loop. Then you'll find the clip on the other end of the winter barrier and clip it to the other end of the new bay. You have four attachment points on either side of the new bay that will clip from the new bay to the winter barrier. You put the attachment point through the loop and cinch it tight. You'll do this four times on each side of the winter barrier. Once you've got all of your attachment points attached, then you'll unravel the line lock connected to the winter barrier. And take the Velcro on the end of this attachment point and Velcro it to the Velcro on the line lock of the new bay. Once you've attached the Velcro, pull the adjustment line until it's tight, creating an area of insulation inside between the outside of the new bay winter barrier and the inside where your hammock is hanging. You'll do the same for all four line locks. Make sure that your pack in the gear stash is centered in the elastic hole in the bottom of the winter barrier. Once you've completely attached the winter barrier, unzip the entrance of your new bay as usual, hop in your hammock, and zip the whole side shut. Just at the seam under the wing of the new bay, you'll notice a vent between the winter barrier and the rain protection of the new bay. This vent allows a wind flow to come in through the sides and run along the roof of your new bay to keep condensation from collecting inside.